Why Arba'een? People ask us. Many answers can be given. Number one, manifestation of the faith and Iman you see in Arba'een. Because it's a famous hadith by our 11th Imam, Imam Hassan al-Askari, the Imam says, a believer has five signs. One of them is for him to do ziyara and go visit the shrine of Abu Abdullah Hussein during the time of Arba'een. Why Arba'een? As we said, manifestation of everything that the faith has brought for us. One of them, selflessness. You see how people selflessly dedicate themselves to the, to the sake, for the sake of Abu Abdullah al-Hussein. They don't care about themselves. Tirelessly, they put everything that they have for the Zawar and the visitors of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. It's nothing about them. Because these people have learned from their master, Abu Abdullah al Hussein, and his companions to be selfless, to be only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they come and they're sacrificing their time, their energy, their wealth, everything that they have for the sake of Abu Abdullah al Hussein, and ultimately Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Caring for others. How many narrations we have that is beautiful and that is praiseworthy for us to be caring for others. You see that during the time of Arba'in, these 10, 15, 20 nights and days that people walk from all different provinces of Iraq and from all different countries, they come to Ziyara of Abu Abdullah al Hussein. We see that each and every one of them, they care for one another. It's about other people, not about me. All of these people, 14, 15, 18, 20, 25, 30 million people, different numbers. We go with the bare minimum, 15 to 20 million people come. They have all one goal, and that is Abu Abdullah al Hussein. Gaining his satisfaction and gaining the satisfaction of Rasulullah and Ahlul Bayt by visiting the shrine of Imam al Hussein. That is one goal. So when everybody says, our scholars say that Imam al Hussein alayhi salam yuwahidina, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam unites us all, we see that unity, the unity of the lovers of Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam and other people from all, all other walks of life. We see despite religion, despite ethnicity, nationality, race, gender, everybody comes. Not only the lovers of Ahlul Bayt and the Shia come and visit the shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. We see Christians come, we see non-Shia come. From more than 80 different countries, they come and visit the shrine of Abu Abdullah Hussein. Imam al Hussein, Yawahidina. He unites us all. So that what we learn, that inshallah, first we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us this honor, that there is nothing like it for us to be able to do the ziyara of Abu Abdullah Hussein, this Arba'een and every Arba'een, and what we learn from Arba'een is that we will be united. The lovers of Ahlul Bayt السلام, despite whatever background they have, nationality, race, whatever it is, when it comes to Abu Abdullah al Hussein and Ahlul Bayt السلام, they will be united with one another and they will not be disunited. Let the world turn against me Let the people resent me all the looks won't affect me If you took one look at me Many they came to ask for what people ask And I'm asking you for nothing I came to give my hand and to kiss your sand And to tell you thank you my king up to you we came Bayin on Haramay Calling out your name Lafayka Ya Hussein Up to you we came Bayin on Haramay Calling out your name Ya Hussein